We have, we have, we have come in the area now. Uh, and you're sure nobody is planning anything? Nobody is. Uh, you, you, you're not, you, you are sure... The there's... calm that we have is an easy calm. Because, you know, um, we, we, we lost one person and the, 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 the security officers have killed two. So uh, we have, we have I mean, uh, the opinion leaders of the area have uh, appealed to the youth. There is calm. But the calm that we have now is an easy calm. Um, but subsequent to what has happened, but, but first let's go to what happened in, with the killing of the two. Uh, uh, what, what information are you getting what? about exactly how this happened and how they are going to, acc who is accounting uh, for it? But my brother, uh, as for the killing of the two, uh, let's give um, uh, thanks to the footage that the uh, multimedia shared. Uh, it depicted whatever happened on the ground. And uh, it will interest you to know that when I came to the country, I realized that all crowd control equipment that the police needed to control crowd was in Nigeria. They had water cannons. I spoke with the uh, police commander. They had uh, uh, rubber bullets. They had tear gas. And instead of the police taking the lead in the management of the rail control, con it was rather the military who took lead and recklessly killed these people and injured about four people who are now uh, on hospitalization. Hmm. So, uh, but, but th there are some reports about some of the youth carrying guns and ammunition and that's why the military had to respond that to that. A, what that what is, are the youth telling that you? Is, that, that, is, that is a false report. That is a, it's a false report. It's not true. The youth were not carrying guns. The youth were coming from the cemetery. From uh, after burying a relative, a friend, a brother, who did not die a natural death, but who was married. And so, as uh, after after the burial, as, as at the time of the burial, even no one had been arrested. So the, the youth had had the, had, had the, uh, the I mean. Whoever it is will have the sense of I mean, revulsion to, to express their anger. And they, they were just on the streets protesting. And nothing, nothing. They did not destroy anybody's thing. They didn't beat anybody. And the police came, I mean, the, the, the military just came in. Immediately they came. Even if you saw the footage, immediately they started alighting from the pickup. The protesters started running away. So what was the need? to fire live bullets into the crowd. Hmm. So if you saw the footage, you saw how the, the military man uh, uh, squatted and then aimed into the crowd. Because we have been wondering whether that was the very first interaction they had with the youth. Whether there was that, there were early attempts to try to get the youth to come down. That was the first down. interaction. That was the first interaction the the security. The, the, I mean, they did not allow the police to take the lead. Yesterday, the military were here. I told them in my mind. I told them. Uh, if you had, if you had a conversation with the military, uh, uh, do you know who was leading them? Uh, it's a le one lieutenant, one lieutenant, uh, Mr. Hmm. Okay, so that person was leading them, but we're also understanding that that lieutenant was wounded. Is that accurate? It is not true, nothing, it's not true. Uh, oh, have you had the opportunity of reading the police statement? The police statement is nothing but rubbish because if you look at uh, the police statement. And you look at the footage, you can see you can see the contradiction. But so what we are seeing in the video is exactly what the youth are telling you happened. What you are seeing in the video is exactly what happened, not what the youth are telling. It's exactly what happened. So that is why uh, we are calling for a commission of inquiry to look into this matter, and not a ministerial uh, inquiry, because. Uh, this is not the only place that the militia have been deployed and they have been casualties. And uh, it, it, uh, I, it, it marvels you why of late uh, the security ministers or the, the security couples have, 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 have got the penchant of uh, deploying military into uh, internal security 
uh, operations because the military that's that so that the internal security operations is the principle of the police as enshrined the constitution and, and and that was a question i was coming to because I, I was wondering whether there was any point in time where the police stationed in the town felt they were unable to deal with the situation and so demanded for that kind of help that included the military I'm even wondering, I mean, you know, uh, when the, the, that Kaka boy was uh, 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 assaulted, and at, the, at, at that time he hadn't died, there was, I mean, tension in the town, demanding that at least those who perpetrated that uh, crime be arrested. And nothing happened. And that was, I mean, so there was already tension in town. And then the, 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 the boy died. Immediately the boy died, they knew that burying the boy, the boy died on Monday, they brought him to a ground on Monday, and Tuesday morning they went to bury the boy, the, 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 the body. So at least, uh, be, be, because he's a youth activist, who, I mean, whose activities uh, has caught on well with the youth of the area, in fact, the whole town gathered to go and bid him uh, and give him a, 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 a farewell. So they took him to the cemetery, after the after the barrier, it was after the barrier when they came in that the police and the military confronted them, and this uh, shootings are okay. Hmm. And so, you, uh, and so, do do you know who deployed or who asked for the deployment of the military men? Oh, I don't know because I, I was in a crowd then. Okay, and since then you, you haven't been given any information as to how the military got into that the town. No, no, I don't have any information as to that. Mm. Are the military still in town? They are still in town. Mm. Uh, and you are confident that you have been able to do a good enough job that will, that will ensure that the youth do not retaliate? For now, we, 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 we've done a lot of advocacy with the help of the chiefs and the, the Zungo chiefs and then also some period leaders in town will be able to, able to come Tensions down, but uh, like I said, uh, the calm is an easy one. And I'm also hearing of reports of uh, the arrest of the a brother to Kaka uh, as one of the suspects. Uh, that, you're hearing that, that the family that, is unhappy that, about. That, is this something you are aware of? They are, they are happy. All of us are happy. It is a, it is a, 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 a ploy to try. Uh, to cover the perpetrators, but it was not wash. It, it is a ploy to cover the perpetrators, which means you are confident uh, that that person should not have been arrested. Yeah, the, the perpetrators. Some of them have been arrested. We know them. They are those. They are those actual. I mean, look, uh, we are all in the job. We know them. We know them. Oh, we so, know them. So we, they, 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 I mean, it is a ploy to cover them. I'm telling you, those that are there, they said they are the bodyguards of the municipal chief executive. They are his attack dogs. He uses them against his, op his opponent. Oh, so, so the first two suspects are his bodyguard. They are his bodyguards and they are his attack dogs. They are part of a group of people who attacked me last, uh, 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 I mean, a year ago, precisely on the 6th of July, 2020, during the registration exercise. So they are, they, they, are, they, they are the hooligans he has been using. So uh, they are now saying, the woman who now went and made a counter statement she was the one who went and reported to the police that she saw two people she says with them in the house she saw two people who came and who battered kaka and when she came she saw them and they ran away how does she now turn back after four or five days now to say that no it is the brother she has been bribed to tell to say and then they are trying to cook a story to see if they can water down but it will not wash uh, that, that, that is already true mad at the, uh, the investigations. Because if you have a problem with the people who are being arrested in the midst of investigation, uh, it means that you are also losing confidence in the investigation. Am, am I right? Can you come, can you come again? I, I am also asking whether it means you are losing some confidence in the investigation, including the people themselves. We are not losing any confidence in the investigation because the woman, when the first statement she made is with the police, we are, we, have, we are ensured that that statement is kept, and she has come to make another counter statement. 
So she uh, 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 she's not a credible witness. I, uh, I, 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 mean, I would even suggest that she should be arrested and reinvestigated. The woman herself, the, the witness should be arrested. She should be arrested. She should be arrested because how can you come and give a, 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 a statement? That was the, 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 the you, were, you were, I mean, she was the first person to appear uh, on the crime scene. And she gave a statement indicating that two people holding six, and those six were found at the scene. And then when, and when she saw them, they bolted. Then four days, she turned around to come and say that it is the brother. The brother, was the, was the, was the brother using his two hands with, uh, with the sticks or what? And then the brother cries, a secular, a very weak person. That he cannot even hold even one, one, one of those sticks. I'm saying that that's, uh, that story I trying to cook, it will not wash, it will not go anywhere. I'm urging the investigators to arrest the woman. Hmm. You, you are saying the brother of the person doesn't look capable, uh, doesn't look, the brother has... He's a sick person. He's not capable of doing that. He's not. He will. He is not, and he cannot do it. Having him being arrested, has that affected the original arrest? Does that mean the first two have been released? The one who you say are connected to the DC? Or no, no, still, no. They have not been released. They are still in police custody. They have not been released. So uh, uh, I have a, a lot of visitors with me. Okay. Like I mentioned with you uh, earlier. Uh, oh, well, can, can, can I ask you? Uh, can I ask you one last question before you go? Uh, you, yeah. you, you, you are you, you spoke against what the president has directed. Uh, you are saying that that is not the, the way to go. The president is calling for a ministerial inquiry, which we have rejected as a minority. We are saying that we want a, a, a commission, a commission which 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 will, which, which will investigate all the military deployments that they have done in this country. The military were deployed to uh, Ablikuma, people died. They were deployed to Kachima, people died. Ejula, people died. So you, you see, uh, the president cannot narrow it down to the incident that has happened in this conspiracy alone. No, there should be a broad uh, inquiry and then uh, uh, any recommendations that come should be broad and should be a, a, a recommendation 